Welcome back, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today, we're going to take a look at payroll reporting. Companies need to closely monitor payroll costs to identify trends, address issues, and understand the impact of payroll on the overall budget. There are three universal payroll reports that are available by default. The payroll analysis, headcount, and finally, work entry analysis reports. Additional reports may be available based on the installed payroll localization. For example, the United States localization has an additional W-2 report and an ADP export report, while the Belgium localization has, well, a lot of specialized reports. So follow me as I take a look at what our payroll is costing Stealthy Wood, and you can see what I can learn from the numbers. So let's dive into our database. So we're starting on our payroll dashboard. By now, this should look really familiar to you. So let's start by clicking on reporting up at the very top. And we're going to start with payroll, as is the video's title. So the payroll analysis report displays the total net wage, as you can see over here, as the blue indication in a line chart, grouped by month for the past 365 days, as you can tell by our nice little search filter up at the top. So I only see information through last September, which happens to be when this particular office has opened. I prefer to view this, however, as a bar chart because that makes everything a lot better for me. Look at that. Very nice. So I can actually view other kinds of information by clicking on our measures drop down menu over here using the button. And we can select another metric from this drop down menu. Like let's assume days of paid time off. And that this happens to be given by each month over here. And wow, okay, would you look at that? Lots of people took time off in November. There were, in this case, 62 paid vacation days taken. Probably all that travel for Turkey Day. I can respect it. Okay, so to see specific breakdowns of salary and time off by department, I'm going to switch to a pivot table view, just so I can show you that. We're going to click our little icon in the top right corner, and there we have it. This view reverts to displaying all of this payroll data. Now, I only want to see gross wage over here. So I'm going to select our measures. And this time we're going to deselect all of these other ones. All right, there we go. Perfect. Now that we've done that, all that we see is our total gross wage by department. Lots of confidential information over here about Stealthy Wood. So actually, stop trying to take screenshots of my data. In this case, it's made up. This is just a tutorial. No one lives in any town USA. With that out of the way for YouTube and people out there, I want to drill down a bit more. So I'm going to group by, and we're in this case, we're going to do by job position up at the top. There we go. Okay, now I can see, well, would you look at that? Stealthy Wood pays for the gross wage for, in this case, all of the job positions in each one. I can see that for carpenters, for example, we paid... $145,282.50 to all of those carpenters. If I want to, I can actually click on carpenter and then select the word employee. And would you look at that? I can see all the individual total gross wages for each employee. And if I want to compare the, in our case, you know, our net wage to the gross wage, I can actually click on our measures drop down once again. And there we have it, net wage. Now you can see the comparison between these two over here. All right, on to our next report. And this one is going to be headcount report. So to view this, I'm going to select reporting up at the top again. This time we're going to select headcount. Okay, an important note. There is actually no default data that appears on the headcount report dashboard. So these ones all have to be created by yours truly, yourself, the viewer. So in this case, I have to go make this. So in the first line, I made a headcount report over here for last year's hires when we opened in September. And it went through, in our case, December 31st. And we hired 62 employees. Then I decided to make a quarterly report. The first quarterly report is from January of this year to March over here at the end. And now we have 72 employees. So we hired 10 new people in Q1. So today, I was asked to run monthly reports instead of quarterly, so let's make a report for April. So I'm gonna click new over here up at the top, and then we gotta select our dates. Well, we're gonna run this one as April 1st to a very unlucky, but not so unlucky April 13th. But 
That happens to actually just be yesterday. So let's do the 30th. There we go, the whole month. All right, then once we're done with that, all we hit is populate. And, well, look at that. The description updates. And I can see that I happen to have, if we go up at the top, 74 employees now. So we hired two new employees so far this month. Wasn't that easy. And since this isn't the end of the month yet, as you saw from my calendar choice, we can also click populate once that it's the end of the month and Odo will update the number of hires all the way through the month. How amazing is that? Okay, next I wanna show you the work entry analysis report. So we're gonna select reporting up at the top once again, work entry analysis, there we go. So by default, this report shows me the current month's validated work entries that we happen to have. So I can see we only had regular attendance entries over here and in this case, some sick time. I don't want to see just April's numbers, especially since we're not even halfway through the month. Instead, I'm gonna clear out the current month filter up at the top. And I think it's time for us to look for something else in here. Then I'm gonna select in here and select the current month dropdown that we have right there. And instead, I'm going to select the Q1 filter. And then we're gonna click away. Okay, now I can see the work entry data for the first quarter in its entirety. Now I want to see some specifics, like who claimed overtime hours. I can click into that field, as we have right there, and then select employee. Nah, would you look at that? Looks like only April and Mitch logged overtime, and we could see their names right there. I can also expand the other fields, like if I want to see who took sick time off. Take a look at that as well. Ah, just like that. And that's it for this report. We learned how to look at and modify the standard default payroll reports just to better understand the information. Be sure to check out the whole HR app tutorials, not just payroll. Do it for me. Till next time, keep on cashing those paychecks. Go grab a snack and relax.